inside there. Yeah. So that uh, gives you an idea of where these folks are and how long that backup is right now. So, of course, we saw the damage. So, uh, do, do we know if this is a completely stop and it's not moving? They said they are rerouting really? traffic. Okay. So they are rerouting traffic there to get people down the road. But once again, that is going to take some time. If you can wait this out, wait until traffic dies down, highly recommend doing so. But it looks like a lot of those people, Joe, are just stuck. There's no way they can get to an exit or near one to get off the road. We do have an update us. now on shelters available. So um, just now into the newsroom, Denina Civic and Convention Center has lost access to utilities. So unfortunately, they are having to close as a shelter. They are asking people to now seek shelter both at the EVIC, uh, excuse me, Egan Civic Convention Center uh, until they are able to, you know, provide some additional places to go. But again, Egan is now the only place that we have open for shelter in Anchorage. Okay, and as we, uh, as uh, some of you are tuning in for the first time today, again, I want to talk about the water. Uh, before I came down yeah. here, folks uh, told me in the newsroom that the water is safe. So they're saying you can drink your water, you can cook with your water. We haven't okay. heard of any issues at this point with water. So that's yes. definitely something we want to pass. We do have some line uh, breaks, some water line breaks. So you may see water in streets. Uh, we saw that down at 30th and Post. Uh, crews are working to assess that. We've also heard of some gas line issues and, of course, widespread power outages. We have an update, Brian, on the power outages. Brian's our producer. He's upstairs in the control room. Uh, and we are continuing to see updates coming in from Chugach Electric, uh, where we've seen uh, about earlier it was about 8,000 customers without power. Yeah, 5,000. Now less than 5,000. Just close to 5,000, it looks like 4,945 about with that power outage. So a lot fewer, but Chugach Electric is doing their best to restore power, and this has gone down significantly in the past hour and a half. You know, one thing uh, we should all uh, be thinking about, too, is I haven't heard of any injuries at, at all. Mm -hmm. Have you guys heard We know either. there's no fatalities that have been reported. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine there's some injuries from people being hit in the head by right. stuff, Bombing but hopefully things. minor injuries. Yeah. Um, yeah, but no major building collapses. Again, most of the damage that we're seeing here is structural to roads, highways, overpasses, rock slides, uh, that sort of thing. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of damage. We have evidence of that sure. right here at KTVA yeah. that's going to take uh, weeks, months uh, to recover from. I want to show you some video again, uh, aerial footage. This is live right now. PTVA has a helicopter up, uh, and this is the Glen Highway continuing to see just stop blocked traffic, uh, completely gridlocked. We know that uh, we're seeing some closures in the Eagle River area. They have worked to create a detour, but uh, as you can imagine, when we had the bridge issue uh, several months back, it just creates a major mess as people trying to get off the highway and back on. Also, uh, Palmer exits are closed, at least uh, one of them. I think it's the on-ramp to southbound Glen is closed because of uh, complete structure damage where the on-ramp has separated from the highway itself, so uh, a closure there, and then we've also had some rock slides covering area roads. I'm seeing very little traffic on the left side coming in. You see a few, I guess, but uh, you know, so there seems to be no well, issues the, coming in, of course. The Eagle River overpass southbound is closed, so I believe what's happening is people are rerouting around that, so that would be one of the reasons that it is a little sparse. But just to reiterate, we've been following this traffic now for a few minutes in a helicopter. And that is how slow it is going. That is how far it is backed up. So we've been on this for some time. And can you read that sign? I cannot make out that sign right there. But that is how backed up the traffic is. So that was a river, river, river loop. So that's where we are now. So there's the way station. Yeah. So they're coming up an Eagle River loop mm -hmm. and uh, Highland, which will be off to the right. So boy, bumper, bumper to bumper. And, you know, driving around town was, again, tricky this morning because uh, the lights weren't out, but, you know, people were taking their time and letting each other go and, and uh, so a lot of patients you're seeing on the roads. Okay, right. so we can see the single lane. Yeah, right so there we go. So it looks like they're getting down to a single lane before they reroute traffic around some of those road closures. If you do not have to be on the Glen Highway, avoid that today. And really, if you don't have to be on any roads, uh, avoid that today as well. Looks like they're taking that traffic into Eagle River to detour around the bridge there, which has sustained some structural damage. Uh, and then likely bringing them back on, I assume, at some point. Uh, but again, many area highways, including the Richardson, the Glen, the Glen Park Center change, the Seward, uh, sustaining cracks and structural damage. We had a collapse even uh, to the on-ramp of International and Minnesota, which is also closed there.